Hi, how are my people doing today, man? I know right now I'm kind of like not looking at you because I'm twisting up this tree to be truthful. I ain't even going to sit here in front. I'm, I'm, I'm twisting up this tree right now, but uh, you know what I'm saying? Tap in with me, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, let's talk about it right here on Face the Bullet. You know, I really wanted to, you know what I'm saying, just say, you know what I'm saying, what drove me to dogs today. On this, on this right here, this here little uh, segment that I put together on Face the Bully. What drove me to dogs? Because it sure wasn't no fucking exotic. I tell you that now. Ain't no exotics was even out when I was, you know, first started breeding dogs. When I first started even looking at a dog, I, you know what I'm saying? Because we come from pit bulls. That's where we come from. We come from pits, man. That's where we come from. We come from pit bulls. You know what I'm saying? We come from them. So what drove me to the dogs was the love of a pit. That's what drove me to a dog, man. The love of a pit bull. I never would have thought that I'd have seen a pit bull change. Change in the direction to where it wouldn't even get off on another dog. I never would have thought that. Shout out to the real pit bull breeders out there that's still breeding in pit bulls, man. I never would have thought that you'd have seen a Staffordshire that can't jump a gate. That don't even want to chase a ball. I never would have thought that. This is what drove me to dogs. Is, is, you know what I'm saying? These dogs that I'm talking about. I used to love the American Pit Bull Terrier and still do. I used to love the Staffordshire Terrier and still do. I used to love the Chow Chow and still do. These are dogs that I like, man. So, so this is what drove me to dogs. Because I like, I like to pet a dog. You know, when you ever petted a chow chow, you never pet a chow that was smooth coat. You never did that. They had furry coats and purple tongues. They was nice when they was puppies. But then when a child grow up, it kind of get this violent tip about him. He'll whoop another dog. Sometimes you got to put him in a yard with an Akita just to calm him down. Because Akitas will whoop them. Sometimes when you get to tripping on dogs, you'll, you'll realize what dog will put another dog in check. If I got a yard full of chows, what dog can I go get to put these yard full of chows in check? Akita. He'll instantly put them in check. This what drove me to, the, to, to dogs. I love dogs. The love of the dog is what drove me to dogs. So when I see things that don't look right, you know what I'm saying, y'all? You, you see other people breeding dogs that don't look right? These dogs are messed up. They can't breathe. They can't walk. Do you decide to speak on it? Don't make you wrong, man. Don't make you, don't make you somebody that hate dogs. It don't. It don't make you nobody. Man, look, if you like a certain dog and you are you are able to speak on that dog, it don't make you wrong. If if you you point out a dog that is up under this label, but it's really not the dog, such as you you trying to call a dog a child, but this dog got a smooth coat. It don't make you wrong to correct somebody. This is what face the bully is all about. This is what it's all about. See, a lot of people can't even sit here and tell you what drove them to a dog. I already know what drove you to the dog. When you started seeing other people get that money, then you wanted that money too. So you went and got that dog that they was breeding on. That Frenchie. <laughs> that Frenchie. Huh? That Frenchie. Because the French Bulldog, to me, is responsible for a lot of colors in the American bully world right now today. The French Bulldog. Because you know what I'm saying? Y'all just sat up there and put so many colors in it that a lot of people went in the backyard with those colors and bred that to the, to the bully. What drove you to the dogs? It sure wasn't no color. You can't sit here and make me believe that a colorful dog drove you to the bully. You gonna make me believe that? An American bully? A colorful dog drove you to the American bully? That's a lie. Because they were never colorful in the first place. What, blue? Black? Silver? White? Is that your color? Because it goddamn sure wasn't Merle. 
They wasn't Merle. Few of them might have had ticks on them. Few of them might have had ticks on them, but they wasn't Merle. They wasn't Lilac. They wasn't Phantom. They wasn't Ghost. What drove you to the dogs? Get real, man. Start talking about the dogs. Yeah, I hear a lot of people say I stand on business. Well, stand on it then. Stand on this business then. What drove you to the dog? That money, right? Stand on business, nigga. That's what drove you to the dog. Stand on business. You, you know, a lot of people ain't nothing but a Facebook meme anyway. Whatever you hear on Facebook, you run back and repeat it. Okay? This ain't a regurgitation channel. Whatever you say, I don't want to say. Whatever you do, I don't want to do. Face the Bully is that different than any dog channel. Whatever you say, I don't want to say. Whatever you do, I don't want to do. But what drove you to a dog? You can't even tell me what drove you to a dog. The money drove you to a dog. That's what it did. And you got pissed off when the motherfucker starts saying something about it. Nah, that dog ain't supposed to look like that. That dog, uh-uh, that dog ain't supposed to have no chopped up ears. That dog ain't supposed to have no missing tail. What drove you to the dogs? That's my question to all you breeders. You know what I'm saying? Y'all breeding dogs and, oh, man, y'all the shit shit. We got all kind of dogs. We got the dogs that nobody got. And they and the people that talk about us, they mad because they can't afford the dog that we got. I ain't mad at shit. I ain't mad because you got a fucking mutt, nigga. Fuck you think, nigga? I'm mad because you got a mutt? What? Really? Shit. Say that shit again, bro. I ain't mad at shit, my nigga. I'd never be mad at none, none of you motherfuckers for what you breed. Hold up. I'm about to pause this real quick to go outside. That's exactly what you breeding dogs for. It's because that dog is worth some paper. And if somebody sit here and say, what caused you to breed dogs? What caused you to want to breed dogs? First thing you should say is the pandemic. A lot of y'all. First thing a lot of y'all should say. I ain't gonna lie. What caused you to breed in the dog? First thing you should say is the pandemic. I didn't even own a dog until the pandemic came. <laughs> That's facts. You didn't even own it. You probably had a dog in your backyard ain't never been bred. Before the pandemic came. Keep it real. Keep it real, man. Keep it honest. Y'all got to keep it honest with me. Because I'm I'm one of them kind of guys, man. You know what I'm saying? I know the dogs, man. I know them. You know what I'm saying? I really do know these dogs like that. I mean, I didn't have dogs and yard kennels full of dogs, blood. But we had these dogs. We had them. Ever since Razor's Edge came out, we had them. And they wasn't blue. None of them dogs is blue. And they damn sure wasn't small. Why y'all dogs small and blue and just fucked up? Just just messed up. Now you got platinum, ghost, phantom. Got all this crazy shit going on. And don't laugh at my cup. Nigga, it's my niece cup. You know what I'm saying? Why you start breeding dogs, though? Laugh at that. Why you start breeding dogs? Why you lying to the public? Like, you know, like you a, a real, real dog breeder. I'm not on nobody's neck. Trust me. I'm not on nobody's neck. But you can you can stop lying today if you want to or tomorrow. You can stop lying. You really wasn't no dog breeder when you start breeding dogs during the pandemic. When we got stuck in the house. Then you went, acquired a lot of dogs. Now you're a dog man. Now. Now you a dog man. That's just the way it go, bruh. We just gonna tell the truth about the whole shit and shame the devil. So how can a dog man that just started breeding less than four or five years ago give you all this information? But they can't show you a picture from 15 years ago where they was holding a dog or breeding a dog or had a dog kennel. Just a bunch of lies, right? Face the Bully gonna say something about it too. Face the Bully gonna say something about it too. Don't sit here and tell me you been a dog breeder. No, you wasn't. You ain't no fucking dog breeder, dog. You don't even know nothing about no dog. You don't even know nothing about no dog. Okay? What made you start breeding these dogs? What made you start breeding them? 
Keep it facts. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Keep it facts. You ain't got to lie. You know what I mean? I mean, now that you're a dog breeder and you love your dogs, you love your dogs. I know you love your dogs because they bought you money. That's why you love them. You ain't let it. When the camera go off, you'll kick the shit out that motherfucker if he pee on your floor. Hmm? Tell the truth. When the camera go off, you'll kick the shit out of that, that motherfucking dog if he piss on the floor. Tell the truth. I won't. Because I do be whooping on a dog. I grab a dog and spank him right on his ass if he do something wrong. Oh, my gosh. We're going to tell Peter. We about to go tell the ASPCA on this black motherfucker right here. Okay? We about to go tell the ASPCA what he just said. What? Record yourself beating on that dog when the camera not on. I see a lot of scary dogs when it comes to their owners walking up to them. The dog be scared. He running away and shit. He timid. I got a dog that was born timid. How many of you guys have dogs that was born timid? The dog breeders. You guys don't have dogs that are born timid? No. Mm -mm. We don't have that. No, we don't have regular dogs. And to ask you what made you even want to be in this game? I'm going to answer your question. The money. The money made you want to be in the game. So if you like money that good, why don't you go to work? I mean, if you like money that good, why, why ain't you doing something to get your own money? Why can't you get on here and tell people how to fix a dog? Fuck how to breed it. We all know how to breed a dog. We all know how to do that. Don't make no more videos whacking off dogs, please. That's just, it's just dumb. You ain't no dog breeder because you sitting in the backyard jacking off a dog. That ain't dog breeding shit. Dogs hop, hop on each other and, and have sex. So why do you uh breed dogs? So you can show me you know how to artificial inseminate. So you can show me you know how to pull a dog. You should show me your bank account. That word, that for you can just take that bitch to the vet. And they'll do all of that for you. See, because a lot of people, they only showing you these videos because they ain't got no paper. That shit costs money to run a dog up in there and go get a C-section. That costs money to take a dog up in there and pull the boy dog to shove it up in the girl dog. Why you like breeding dogs for? How do you do all of this stuff? See, the camera come on and it shows one thing. Exactly what the fuck you want it to show. That's what it shows. It don't show what's behind the scenes. It shows exactly what the fuck you want it to see. What you trying to show. And that's your litter. But you ain't trying to show me how that motherfucker got here, huh? You ain't trying to show me how you really love dogs. They got channels out here talking about they just disrespect dogs all day. Y'all don't get on them channels and, you know, hey, check this out, man. Quit talking about the American bully. You can talk about any dog you want to, but don't talk about the bully. No, you won't even defend the dog. You won't even defend it. Somebody say something about a bully, I get on their ass. I want to know why you feel like that about this dog and you don't feel like that about a motherfucking Jack Russell Terrier or something like that, nigga. Why you feel like that about my dog? It ain't my dog, it's Dave's dog. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the rest of uh, the uh, uh, Elite Edge's dog. The only dog that's mine is the one that I bred or the one that I bought. So you don't run the bully. Don't even come with that lying ass shit too. You don't run no bully. Why you like dogs? Why you like to breed dogs? Put some money in your pocket. See, because this is a question to the whole bully world. Why the fuck do you even like to breed a dog? And where do you work? See, Face the Bully didn't put up videos of him at his job. Working. But I don't see no other breeders working. How do you support your dog? How do you support that motherfucker, huh? I seen Mr. Thompson Kennels, man. That's a real dog, man, right there. I seen Mr. Thompson Kennel go to work, man. I seen him go to work to support his dogs and his family. Why do you breed dogs, American Bully Breeders? And where you work at? Hmm? Where you work at? 
You American bully breeder. Got all these dogs running across the yard. Where you work at? What you do for a living? How you taking care of all this? Ain't none of my fucking business, but why you breeding dogs? I breed dogs because I'm trying to better the breed. Not with, not with bulldog blood, you not. You ain't bettering no fucking breed with bulldog blood. We ain't listening to that shit. Fuck that. You can be as mad as you want to. Okay? Be as mad as you want to and tell us all kinds of fucking lies. We don't give a fuck. Ain't nobody got to hear that shit. That shit lies. So it's essential for the pit bull to be bred for to a bulldog. And, and it make them better dogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some of the shit that comes out of the American bully world is classic. It's classic shit. You ain't never heard no another dog man or no another dog breeder speak like an American bully breeder. Real facts, man. Why you breed this motherfucker? Huh? Every dog breeder need to just show us some pictures of you breeding dogs before the pandemic. Do it. Do that shit. Because I can show you tons of pictures of me growing pot before the pandemic. I can show you tons of pictures of that. Dogs don't take care of me. Dogs do not take care of me. Ain't no fucking dog bought this big ass motherfucking house. You fucking crazy. Ain't no motherfucking dog bought this shit. Ain't no fucking dog bought that. Oscar bought that, nigga. That's who bought that. Face the Bully bought that. Why you breed dogs? You never, ever, ever tell the truth. Just like you won't tell the truth about these wonderful ass colors. And, and everybody got a new dog name. This is Jack, Jack John over here and... You know, this my nigga over here, big, big, big dog over here. And, you know, these, this his blood. Fuck your blood. That shit ain't real. That shit come from the bulldog. That shit. Come on, man. They get to talking about their blood. Your blood come from Frenchie. Your blood come from uh, English bulldogs. That's where your blood come from. That's where the blood come from, fam. It didn't come from you breeding that dog to a pit bull or a staffy. No, it didn't come from that. It came from your. It came from a Frenchie. And this is the reason you breed dogs. You know what I'm saying? This is the reason you breed them. Then I got a lot of people. They don't want to respond to me because you know why? I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Sometimes. I really do sometime. Why I don't never show my dog to you? Why I don't never show it? Cause I, cause it's you. It's you. I don't need to show a dog to you. You can't even tell me why you a breeder. So why the fuck do I need to show a dog to you for? Huh? Like I always do around this time. Welcome to another episode of Face the Bully, where I myself like to talk about dogs, preferably your dog and mine. I know I might ruffle some feathers every single time I turn this motherfucker on. I don't normally cuss, but today I'm a cuss. I know I ruffle some feathers every time I turn this Jeep thing on, though. Real talk, because I'm talking that real nigga shit. I don't give a fuck about no dog. I don't give a fuck about no dog. I don't. You can't, what I mean by that is, you can't create a new dog and think that I'm going to care about that shit. That ain't no pit bull. That ain't no Staffordshire. That ain't, that, ain't, that ain't the shit that we grew up with. How come when we grew up with these dogs, we got to change them motherfuckers to a different dog? You want to breed a different dog? Breed a different dog, but call it a different name. Now y'all out here just running crazy, breeding exotics. I like exotics. We own exotics. Just recently acquired some exotics. I showed them on Face the Bully, too. But they do, they look different than your exotics. They got tails. They can run. They can play. 
They look like dogs. And you can't hear them. Put that shit on camera too. You can't even hear these these dogs right here when they doing their thug thing, man. You can't hear them, but I can hear the shit out of your dog. I can hear it. So why'd you breed it? Why you breed that brachiocephalic dog? Why did you breed that brachiocephalic dog? Ask yourself that when you start talking about you a dog breeder and you watching your puppies die at birth because they got to be shook and, and rubbed on their backs hella hard. Man, don't you know we didn't went to, we didn't went out to eat a few times and came back and that dog delivered her damn puppies all by herself. Ain't nobody rubbed on their back. Why you like to breed dogs? Who you fooling? Me? You're not fooling me at all. I know what a pit bull is and I know what a Staffordshire is. I've been educating myself on a ruffian dog because I never owned one. I've been educating myself on a Ryan dog because I never owned a Ryan dog. These are dogs if I owned, I didn't know their names. I've been educating myself on a watchdog. And how come they mainly found on the East Coast? And I'm on the West. No wonder y'all ain't got bullies on the West Coast. These, this is real. So since you couldn't get a watch dog or a band dog, you replaced the dog with a mastiff dog. God dang, man. Shit. The fuck? You can't get a watch dog or a band dog. So you replace the dog with a mastiff dog. Why you breed bullies? Who told you you was a bully breeder? Some of y'all really are bully breeders. Shout out to the real bully breeders, man. But then you got these other guys. Got 15 dogs and not three of them look the same. Out of 15 dogs, three of them don't even look the same. But you a bully breeder, though. You, 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 you breeding dogs that don't even look the same. They don't even look the same. When, it, when they come out, you got a Merle dog, you got a blue dog, you got a white dog, you got another blue dog, you got a silver dog, you got a brown dog, you got a black dog. That's called scatterbred. That's what that's called. You have have a litter of puppies, none of them look the same. That's a scatterbred litter. Learn what the fuck you people. Y'all need to learn about dogs before you sit on here and tell me you a dog man. Learn about the motherfucker first, man. And then get on here and try to show somebody something. Then get on here and try to teach somebody something. Because if you don't know shit, how you going to teach somebody something? Breeding all these dogs and... None of them look the same. You got two brown dogs, and when they have puppies, a Merle pop out. What the fuck? How the hell did that shit happen? The fuck? I just bred two brown dogs. And then when I bred them, a Merle popped out. Yeah, yeah, a Merle popped out, and a Trilac popped out too. How the fuck a, a Trilac pop out? You got a tricolor dog from two brown dogs. You got a, you got a, I mean... There is no telling what the fuck American bullies is carrying now, what gene they carrying. It's no telling. Somebody breeding a dog right now to a bully and he ain't a bully. Right now. Right fucking now somebody's breeding a dog to an American bully that's not a bully. They doing a collie and a bully breeding right now finna get some murals. That's what they doing. See, all dogs are much. But not really, not really. Once that dog has a standard to it, that is not a mutt. He is now able to be in the AKC. And ain't no mutts in there. So all dogs are mutts, especially the way that they're being bred right now. Yeah, them some motherfucking mutts. But once he gets a standard on them, he is able to go to the American Kennel Club and be a real dog, a real breed, and be able to be distributed to the community. 
under a real name, like the Labradoodle. Why you think you don't see everybody with a Labradoodle? I mean, it's real, man. Why you, why you even breed dogs for some money, right? I'm sorry that I had to even make a little video like this, man. But when you fuck with a dog, you fuck with me. So y'all got them songs, you fucking with him, you fucking with me. Well, nigga, you fuck with a dog, you fucking with me. No, fuck you. I don't need to show you no dog. I'll show you a dog when I get ready to show you a dog. This ain't about dogs showing dogs and selling dogs. This is about telling you about a dog, the dog you keep fucking up. Breeding a fucking Frenchie to a bully. Breeding a fucking English to a pit bull. What the fuck? Who does that? And why? You ain't no dog man anyway. You ain't no dog breeder anyway. You just trying to see what kind of mutts come up out this shit right here. Then you take them and you distribute them all around the streets to your friends and stuff. And then when you want to come back and breed to that mutt, you come back and breed to it again because you already know what it is. I crossed it up. I crossed that bitch up. I had so many dogs like that, man. I was buying dogs off the street from people. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say no names from people. And I was telling the people when I bought the dog, this ain't no motherfucking bully. Yeah, it is. I said, nah, this, this motherfucker got some bulldog in him or something. You can look at him. Look at his tail. Why? Remember a couple years, <laughs> couple years ago, all of them had them king tails? Yeah, we, we beyond king tails because we on like F3s and F4s and F5s now. See, them king tails was coming out when they was adding the bulldog to the breed. Remember? Two years ago, you bully breeders? Y'all was bully breeding then, remember? Fucking day shit up. Just fucking up the, the whole bully breed. Every dog had a kink tail, man. Every dog had an ear that wouldn't stand up. Come on, man. Let's talk dogs. Let's talk dogs, y'all. Let's talk dogs. Everybody got a dog that's so pretty. Now, nah, fuck your dog. That motherfucker ain't pretty. Mm -mm, that's a mutt. And it's, your homeboy didn't tell you he's a mutt. But I'm going to tell you that motherfucker a mutt, dog. You don't take no fucking Frenchie and breed him to no pit bull and call that a breed? The fuck? You took an English bulldog, bred him to a staff, and called that a breed? No, it's not. That's a mutt. A mutt is a dog that you don't know the lineage of. You cannot tell his lineage. And we already know a lot of these American bullies come from bulldogs, and you didn't want to tell that lineage. It's not on the paperwork. Remember, I keep trying to tell y'all that. Everybody say it's cool to breed to the bulldog, but the bulldog ain't on the paperwork. Some exotic dog is, which is a fucking bulldog to me any fucking way. Ain't no such thing as exotic. That's a name. Exotics is a name, and it's a good name. Hey, check this out. The exotic going worldwide going to be here forever. But don't try to go breed to a pug, to a Pekingese, and then say you got to a, a exotic. Come on, man. We see this shit, man. That's why I'm going to start just start talking about all these dogs. Every single breed that I see in that dog, I'm going to start talking about that motherfucker. You understand? I'm going to start talking about it. I know exactly what the fuck you bred to, and you's a scumbag-ass liar for sitting here saying that you didn't. Because you're going to take that dog and sell that dog to the community under a scam. Y'all got to do better in the bully world, man. Y'all got to do better. If you love a dog, quit beating on that motherfucker when the camera is off. If you love a dog, quit tying that motherfucker up somewhere when the camera is off. If you love a dog, quit putting them in cages with violent dogs. Now y'all starting to learn about Toxidia, huh? Toxidia. Y'all, you starting to learn now, huh? Y'all doing some, some work now, huh? Because your dog's catching all these germs. So you got to go to and seek to the vet and see what's wrong with him. You don't take the dog to the vet until he catch something you can't get rid of. And I'm, te I'm just asking dog breeders for the umpteenth time, please show me your medicine cabinets for the umpteenth time. Please show me your medicine cabinets. Fuck your dog food, nigga. 
I don't care about your dog food or your supplements. I don't care about none of that. Ain't no dog ever needed no damn dog food. And don't no dog need no supplement. Show me what you, what you give him when he's sick. How many of you dog breeders own an IV bag? Nah, we don't own no IV bags. What would I need with an IV bag? It's a little thing called charcoal dust for your dogs. And you go buy it in the GMC store. Do you know what that's for? Do you know what that's for? Go find out, dog man. Go find out. Quit looking on the internet for information. You a dog man. Go find out, dog man. And when you find out, let us know about some of these things. Show us your medicine cabinet. Quit showing us your barn. I'm in a barn right now. Can't you see? Don't, don't show me the stuff that you think the dog needs. Show me what he needs. Show me your nice-ass kennel and how, how motherfucking comfortable it is for that dog. And, you know, me, myself, personally, sometimes I might throw a shirt on the ground for my dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My dog sleep in the house with me, man. She be looking at me like I need something to lay on. I might throw a shirt, cover down there or something. That's what I do. Well, I got a lie to you for. For what? You ain't nobody to lie to. Y'all dudes is tripping out, man. So the name of this one is, why you even breed a dog? Because before the pandemic, you wasn't a dog breeder. I remember when a lot of y'all used to be rappers, but hey, we ain't going to talk about that. Mm-hmm. We ain't going to talk about that. They gave up rap to come breed. All right, we ain't going to talk about that. All right, we up out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have a blessed day. All my people have a blessed day all the time. Stop acting like you can breathe.